G'day, I'm Andy, I'm here for Hillside Tractors Australia just to help you set up your pop-up canopies if you like them, they're a pretty good product. They come with three rods in the canopy. I'd suggest you start with your front rod, the big yellow one. Make sure your upper velcro is out of your way. Under your bottom loop. You want the soft side of the Velcro to point away from you. If you come in in front of your pipe here and in beside your top link holder, that way your bale can still function. So put it in that corner there and pull it nice and squarely around the holder. And then once you get in that position, you can put a little bit of tension on it. And it tucks in nice and neatly like that. Then you can come under your top Velcro. Put the soft side in again, in beside the inclemeter mount. Nice and flat like that. Now this part here, if you get your angle nice and neat at this point, as you tie off your tail, it'll sit in nice and flush. See this angle here? As you go around for your second turn, it keeps it nice and flat and neat, like that. And then tuck the tail in. That also gives you the most amount of Velcro. Now, as you see, you can still use your top link bale. It doesn't interfere with that, so. That's what I find is pretty handy. The other thing to be careful of, as the sticker says, when you're hooking up the front of your pop-up canopy, make sure you don't let it hit you in the face. Okay, now we'll go to our side. We've got our side rods to hold the side of our canopy. I'll sit that one there for later. Yep. So as you can see, there's different length straps. This one's, I'll pull it out so you can see. This one's only fairly short in comparison to this one. It's a lot longer. Again, put your Velcro soft side in towards your side rail. Start with it in the middle of your grab rail. Tuck it around with the soft side in. Go around your first section of Velcro. Then tuck it back down again. Pull it up. And then again, the same as the front link, if you get that angle nice, you will get as much Velcro contact as you can with as neat a finish as you can. Like that. And as you can see, it's quite nice and tight. You can slide it down or up. It stays nice and tight. Then when you want it out of the way, you just tuck it in like that. And we do the same with the other side. Again, long tab to the bottom. Sit it in the middle. Go under. Wrap it around. And go under again. And then you can wrap it, concentrating on that angle again. And locking it off. like that and again it's nice and tight we can store it down there out of the way when we don't want it so then we move on to the pop-up canopy it comes with a belt um elastic loop just for storage pops out like that nice and neatly you want the back of the bonnet to the back of the tractor and start off with your top loops. Okay, so take it around on your tractor, set it on the steering wheel is a good spot for it. And make sure you get the middle loop. So you've got side loops, you want the middle loop and it's closest to your elastic. So grab your soft piece, pull it over the top 
and sit it about at the bottom of the bar. This height isn't critical. The longer you leave this gap, the less headroom. The higher you take it, the more headroom, but the more the sun can come in. I personally prefer to have it about there and just tuck your top Velcro over and lock it off. Well, that's pretty good. So then it's easier if you go to the bottom section of your the flap on the back of your bonnet, just wrap it around and lock it off as tight as you feel you need. And then the same on the opposite side. And you can also do these top ones at the side. Same time. Might sit nicer that way. Yeah, that sits nicer. This isn't totally critical. You'll probably adjust this later once you put the rods in. Okay, that's pretty good. We'll leave it like that. Now I'll go to the front and put in the yellow rod for the front stay. Again, make sure you control this so you don't whack yourself in the face. So just under your Velcro, tuck it through to the join between the male and the female section of the Velcro, and then just lock it off like that. Seems to work pretty good. Got a nice bit of tension there. And just get one of your side rods. Pull out your Velcro. Find your slot on the side of your pop-up canopy. Just slide it through. Down to the top of the rod. And then you can lock it off pretty much as you please but again if you get that angle right you can use the most amount of sticky on the velcro and the neatest job so it's there pretty nice you can do the same on the opposite side Take it through, down to the top of the rod, and then lock it off. And that's pretty good like that. Um, a good thing about these canopies is a lot of your hard canopies sit right up here, which is lets a lot more sun in from the side. A good feature of these canopies is if you come up to a tree branch or something and you don't want to catch in your canopy, you pull it in out of the way. And the other thing you can do is you can pull it down and block the sun from the side. Or if there's a bit of rain coming in from that side, you can get a little bit more protection. You can do that with both sides, but you know, obviously for best vision, it's pretty good. It's pretty good height. It's a similar height to what a hat brim would be. So yeah. Pretty good like that. Okay, I'll show you how to pack it up. Okay, pack up the canopy, the pop up canopy, under your side velcros at the top only. Tuck it out of the way between the gauge cluster and the steering wheel. Sits there nice and neatly out of your way. Then you do the opposite side. Again, between your gauge cluster and your steering wheel, nice and neatly. Hold on to your yellow rod so it doesn't fling. Under your Velcro, release the tension on your rod so it can't flick. Leave your canopy hang like that. Then you can undo these there's no particular order that matters i like to tuck them back together so they don't all get stuck together makes it easier <laughs> mm. 
and as easy as that. Now, to pack up this, it's similar to an on camping ensuite, but it's a lot easier in my opinion. Hold your elastic. I'm right-handed, so I hold it in my left hand. Go down just past your three o'clock. Give it a small loop. Grab hold of it again. Same hand next to the elastic. Grab it opposite your hand. Turn another loop. And you should go close to getting three equal loops. And that's the key. Don't do two loops. You want three loops. Then find your elastic loop. Pull it out. And tuck it around the three loops and it's pretty good for transport good spot to put it is in in front of your dash in front of your steering wheel there it's nice and out of the way all these um, rods don't have to be removed if they're not in your way I can use all my functions without these rods bothering me this one doesn't get in the way I should going under a tree or something you click you can take it off if you wanted to but normally you can just leave it on there and uh yeah that's the pop-up canopy from hillside tractors